Hi, so if you remember that I have started a playlist that I am going to start a biggest project on my channel which is automating my whole home. So I have already automated half of my home but still some things are remaining. And in this video I am going to give a little glimpse that how I automated my home and how you can do it. So let's begin with this video. So in my home almost everything is controlled by this little ESP01 and ESP8266 with the help of a relay. All lights are connected with my these two devices. These, these are the main parts of my uh, smart home. Everything is run on the home assistant which I am going to show you in a second. Now first thing first we need to program this ESP01 board. So for that, first of all, you need to short these two wires so that it can be turned into flashing mode. So to program it, you need a breakout board like this. So in this breakout board, I have already soldered two wires so that I can short this wire to, to turn on the flash mode on this ESP01. So to program it, you need to insert it like this into it now you need to connect it to your computer to program it so now first of all open your home assistant and open ESP home from there click on add new and continue here type a name for your device here I am typing Veranda lights click next here select ESP8266 and click on install and click on plug this into this computer now wait for it to prepare and after preparing click on download. Here you can see file has been downloaded. From here click on open ESP web and click on connect. Now select your device and click on install. Now from here select the file you have just downloaded. Now click on install. Now your device is preparing and after preparing it should be online. Now unplug your ESP01. Disconnect these two wires and reconnect your ESP01. So after disconnecting and reconnecting your ESP01 you should see that your ESP is online like this but for some reason my ESP is not coming online so I figured out that my ESP chip has been burned out so I have ordered a new one till then I am going to show you how to code it 
so go to edit in here captive portal here write output platform here we are using gpio pins of esp so here we will write gpio and in here we will type its name for example panda lights you cannot put space here pin here i am using gpio pin 2 gpio should be in capital inverted yes because we are using a copy esp so everything should be inverted yes. now we have created a output now we have we should create a light for it to control so here type right again platform here platform will be binary and output output you will write same name right. so here is the coding these names should be same this and this name should be same so this is the coding to create a button in your esp click save and install wirelessly so my esp is not coming online so i will show you this esp uh, online should be this like this green online button and i can show you edit here is the same coding here is god lights just like my veranda lights after after uploading you should see in setting devices and services uh, in esp home god's light you should see a button like this to turn off light by turning on off you can turn on and off your light if you didn't see this button just restart your home station or restart your esp home you should see this so that's all for the coding let me show you the example so here in the esp01 these two front pins are the positive pins you should connect it to plus 5 volt plus 3 volt 3.3 volt it works on 3 volt and this pin is ground pin uh, this pin and this pin is gpio2 relay should be connected here so that's all for the connections uh, it has pretty simple connections uh, similar connection should be used on esp8266 and any other esp device So if you like this video please leave a like down below and share this video with your friends if you liked it and please subscribe to my channel see you next time bye